Hi, this is No Salt BP. Welcome to my kitchen again. Thank you all so much for joining me. Hello, hello, hello. No Salt BP. Let me place this down here so you can. Hey, Alan, how are you? Wow, that was quick. Please sign up for my newsletter at nosaltbp.com. And I welcome all of you. Hey, Black Diamond. I have to take these off. Hi, Nikki C. Define Perfection. Hello, my dear. Hi, Harry. Welcome. Everyone, please welcome Harry into the live stream. This is his first time. Welcome, Nathan. Welcome, Food Forest Permaculture. Hi. I thank you all so much for joining me today. My rowdy, rowdy chicas in here. Hi, Dining with Val Vanity. Welcome all of you into my kitchen today. Today I have a very special meal. Hi, SK Cape. You all get to know each other and I'm gonna get started. I will be preparing po' boys tonight with shrimp. Very inexpensive as we do it over here on the budget. Black Diamonds, hi, sweetheart. Mama Jones, thank you, and welcome to the family. Welcome to the No Salt BP family. I thank you all so much for joining me today. Four thumbs up and 11 people. <laughs> Yay! And I have a plate for you, my dear. You've never seen this your first time? No salt BP stands for no salt because you have high blood pressure. Hi, my darling Maurice. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I am doing fantastic. So let's get this show on the road. Here we go. I purchased for the Pub Boys this. See how long this is? <laughs> I'm so happy you're incredible. Hey, cool Nicole world. See how long this is? I'm gonna put it up here. This cost $1 from Lee's Sandwiches out here in California. And I thank them so much for providing the bread in order to prepare this meal. D.O.T., hey, welcome everybody. Please welcome Maurice, Theo. Fifi is in here. Hey lady, Fifi is in here. Um, she has great content. You guys need to check her out. It's very real world. Mama Jones, yeah, can you imagine? Here we go. And I have very broad shoulders. Poetic Kills, hi. Welcome. Let me take care of something right now. There you are. You're now blue. 19 people in the room. So let's get started, shall we? As I always do, I show all the ingredients that I use for my meals. 20 people in, seven thumbs up. Get those thumbs up, guys. I will be using the olive oil mayonnaise. By Kraft, you can get this at Kroger. 
This is for the remoulade sauce. Brown spicy mustard from Trader Joe's. Hi, Brittany, the Hennings family. Hi, Dining with Vanity. And this is my Hungarian paprika. I have said this before. I purchased it at Sprouts, which is now owned by Amazon. This, there's a difference in this paprika. It's hotter. It's not like your smoke. It's hotter. You see that poetic kill? See how fast that was? I have my Cajun seasonings from a previous video that I had did. And this was all made at home. There's no nothing that was purchased from anywhere that was pre-prepared. Hot ingredients are great. Well, you know what? They have a tang. They're not as hot. They could be hot, hot, hotter, but. I use this for my seafood, my Cajun uh, meals, and all that. So this is it. Of course, my Atomic Bomb horseradish sauce. My favorite Tapatico red hot pepper because I just love the favor. It just eludes favor flavor. And I have my minced garlic. So I'm going to step over here, turn on. As you see, I have pans over here and I have a drying rack over here. When you prepare something that's fried, you want to make sure that you're not placing it on just a paper towel to drain it because it'll just soak at the bottom. It'll lose its crispiness. The rack will drain it on top of this. It will drain all the oil off. It'll go onto the paper plate. It looks like on um, paper towels. It looks like this and you'll have that crunch. So let me get going. 25 people in the room, 14 lights. And please, please, please support my moderators and you guys talk to each other. I'm just going to go into this, okay? Moderators and supporters in the room, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming here. I realize you have many choices and channels to review and obtain nutritional content. But here at No Salt BP, we do it without the salt and we also support each other. So that's what you guys do. And I'm going to get started. I'm going to heat up my oil. And I'm going to prepare my ingredients. To the back of me, you see cornstarch. That will give any of your fried food and chicken a crunch. There is some flour that I purchased from the 99 cent store. Okay. So you can use a half a cup of flour, a quarter cup of cornstarch, or you can also use cornmeal. Cornmeal is great, but it will not give you that crunch. Hey, Miss Pauline, everyone support her channel. She is a beautiful songstress. I've seen her on many live streams. She reviews content. She's very kind. My two chicks crew, hey, thank you for coming in. Nikki Flanders is here. So here we go. And for simplicity, I just place my flour in here and then I add my cornmeal, um, my cornstarch. This is half cup of flour. So I can keep up with you guys in the live stream. 
Because oh, this guy is in the live stream. You hear that? Because you guys fade in and out. On my MacBook. Here we go. Hey, you guys interact with each other and you'll see me do this on live, okay? This is my half a cup of flour. And a quarter cup of the cornstarch. See that? I'm gonna throw that in here. I'm done with that. And I'll grab my shrimp. Please remember, do not leave shellfish or poultry out on a countertop prior to preparation before you season it and place it in a skillet or a pan because you can become really, really sick. So this is my cleaned and deveined shrimp. See that? And my sister's over there at Two Chicks Crew. Beautiful channel. If you want weekday boosters, poetry and prowls, they have it. Um, Poetic Kells, if you want to know how to live life and live it, live your best life in particular for women and men she has wonderful wonderful tips so that's the place to go oh my god it should be hello hey grandma lolly grandma lolly if you have a child that is between the ages of i want to say two and seven years old, and you want that child to identify emotions, have self-esteem, learn their identity, have confidence and self-worth, go to Grandma Lolly's channel. Because my granddaughter and I, we were binging on that all weekend, and she does a wonderful job with it. need something to stick, right? Everyone, please say hello to Grandma Lolly and welcome her. Her stories are very animated and they're very child friendly. Hi, Fluffin Fluffinator. Welcome. She has a wonderful channel for all of you who have young children or grandchildren. Please check her out. It's my egg. I'm gonna beat it. Grandma Lolly and I, we are both sisters. We're grandmothers. Two Chicks Crew and I are sisters. That's the egg. 
So here we go. The shrimp. We're going to use a tad bit of Cajun seasoning. Let me show, pull this up so you guys can see it. Before, we're gonna place the shrimp in now. And I thank each and every one of you for all your continued support. If you know someone who has high blood pressure or, had, or has a sodium restricted diet, please, they are more than welcome to come over to my channel. So tell a friend, tell a grandma, anyone that is taking blood pressure medication or that is pre-hypertensive. So we're going to start placing this in here. So how was your day? Oh, I have something that I found out this weekend on Saturday. Guess what's coming to a store near you? They will be called the Kroger Automatic Cars without a driver. They are now testing this out in Arizona. It's like... Hey, Cerebral Killer. Hi, No Nonsense. Welcome. Hey, the Egyptian Gamer. You guys get to know each other. That's what we're about over here. Let's collaborate. Please check out each other's um, channels. Review three to five videos. Support each other and make your decision from there. But back to the Kroger cars. Oh, my. What do you guys think about a car drive in itself? I know I'm the consummate backseat driver, but jeez. You guys just blacked out. Cerebral says, hi, John. SK Cappy, welcome. Everybody, welcome in the room. You like it, Grandma Lolly? You like self-driving cars? Mm -hmm. Hi, JC Silver Spoon. Oh, there you are. You like eggs? I love eggs too, but I can only have a few of them every now and then. I have to hard boil them and pop the yolk out. Yes, please hit that like button. There are 34 in the room. Thank you so much at Two Chicks and Poet Kells for reminding people. Please hit the like button and tweet this live stream out. Tweet it out right now. That way, you guys can get more support. Hi, East Meets West. Tweet it out, share it on Facebook, and watch what happens. Watch how your garden grows. Sharing is caring. How many people have been able to tweet this or know how to tweet and Facebook this out? And my ladies at Two Chicks Crew can definitely show you right here, right now. So here we are, the Cajun shrimp, the shrimp with the Cajun seasoning.
Big Lots Black Pepper. I told you guys this week you can get this 10 different seasonings, 10 for $10, and this lasts a long time. So I'm going to just put a little bit more in there. I'm done with the egg. A little bit more Cajun seasoning in there, teaspoon, and this is how we can do it so that it is not messy, okay? So that you don't have a boatload of dishes to clean up. completely coated. Were you guys able to tweet Facebook? There should be a share button under the stream. Yes, there is a share button under the stream. You click share, a box comes up. It says Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. You can and that you click on it and that way you can share it. And if you don't have Twitter, I said this last week, you don't even have to watch the news. You can see all your trending topics on Twitter. You can find out your news on Twitter. So we're going to go over to here. just for a moment so you guys can see what the oil looks like. Okay. To test whether or not your oil is ready, I'm gonna take a little, a pinch of flour from here. And I'm gonna and I will show you guys what happens in the skillet when I toss it in in the pan. See that? You're good to go at that point. Oh, it's gonna get really good, my friend at Eat Me Twist. Watch. Take my spoon. This it has holes on the bottom. It gets rid of all the extra flour. And watch what happens. And I will also show you the process of frying. We're done with our bag. My Alarms are so CO2 sensitive, but that's what it looks like. One moment, please. I've got to address this alarm. Be right back. And 
I open my patio door because I have my uh, smoke detectors to sense when things are getting too hot to go off. That's a safety feature for me. Oh, you guys are gonna love this. Look at that golden brown. A few more moments, it'll go on the rack. Everyone, welcome into the room. If you came in within the last few minutes, this is nosaltbp.com. Please, everyone in the um, chat room, please welcome any newcomers into the room. We have a lovely, positive interaction over here, as well as Poetic Kells, Grandma Lolly, of course, Two Chick Screw, and definitely Unity Tribe. So if you want additional support, please follow those people. Um, hey, Honey Lot, welcome. Honey Lot is another positive woman, um, very positive channel. I encourage all of you to please, when I first started, Two Chicks Crew bought me in and took me under their wings. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. This is done. You guys see that? That is prepared. Now we're going to place it on the rack. We're going to separate them. And I'll show you guys what a shot of this looks like. And why you don't want to use paper bags or paper towels in order to drain any fried food. Remember, parents and grandparents, if you have young children, always turn your handles inward. I'll show you what that looks like. Inward is very important because these stoves, knobs, handles are very attractive. If you turn them inward, they can't reach it like that. So make sure your handles are always turned in. You don't want to have a child go into a hospital from an oil burn. It, they're awful. Okay, shrimp are done. So I'm going to show you what it looks like and what happens when you place it on a rack versus placing it on a paper towel or a bag. Here we go. You guys see that? All the oil is dripping from the bottom of the shrimp onto the paper towel. It doesn't get soaked in. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of it, okay? We're gonna begin with the roulade sauce. And for your viewing pleasure, we are going to measure this out. So here we go. Half a cup of the Kraft olive oil mayonnaise. Olive oil is wonderful for 
Um, making sure your arteries and veins do not become clogged. So that's our olive oil mayonnaise. Actually, it's one and a quarter cup. There we go. Quarter cup of mustard. Hold on one moment. I'm going to top this mayonnaise and throw it into the refrigerator. Down with these. I use the Stater Brothers spicy brown Dijon mustard. This is my quarter cup. There we go. I like my Hungarian spicy paprika. Welcome, welcome everyone. Oh, I love that. 31, 34 people and 34 likes. You guys are fabulous. Here's my Hungarian smoked paprika. And remember, this is my Hungarian paprika is different from smoke because the Hungarian paprika is hotter. I'll use two tablespoons of the remainder of two teaspoons of my remainder Cajun seasoning. I'm going to do a video just on seasoning and sauces. So what do you guys think? Two teaspoons of my Atomic Bomb horseradish sauce. I'm kicking it all the way up. You guys, make sure you interact with each other. Visit each other's channel. Leave comments. And I'm saying take a genuine interest in their channel like uh, Grandma Lolly and I do. Hi, JD Knight. I'm just placing in my two teaspoons of horseradish, one teaspoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of my tapatio hot sauce. This is my go-to and my favorite. Hey, no nonsense. Beautiful lady, what's going on with you? I went over your channel and visited, your, tried to look at some of your content. And I'm going to have a tablespoon of minced garlic. One moment. This is my fresh finds. Again, big buys. Minced garlic. See that? It's going to go in here. These are all my ingredients, and I'm going to stir it right in front of you. And watch you 
Watch it come to fruition. Now watch this. That is your remoulade sauce from scratch with absolutely no salt. Just the way we like it. Anybody hungry yet? Hey, Henry Bishop. Yeah, you guys make friends. Remember my bread? You guys can't see it, but I'm going to cut it. That's good. And this is bakery fresh. It was just prepared this morning. So I went from this to this. Cut this in half. From my plate to your palate, no salt BP. You know how we do. Here is the remoulade sauce, right? Put a nice amount on each side of the bread. See that? Next. We're gonna add some beautiful tomatoes. That. Scatter in some iceberg lettuce. And watch this. You guys see this? That is your shrimp po' boy. And I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of the sauce on top. So tell me, you guys, what do you think? I'm giving you a 360 view. We're not skimping on the shrimp. I told you the bread was $1, right? The shrimp were on sale. They were about $4. 
per pound. And I'm gonna show you how much shrimp I have left. That I cooked, of course, there are more in the refrigerator. So does anyone have any questions? Here you go again. Tell me what you think. <laughs> Honey Lot said, I need a dang plate. Two chicks have said, that's delicious. Just Angel, oh, looks so good. Thanks to all of you. Thank you so much. What time is dinner? You know what, Honey Lot? You and I are supposed to be getting together now. Make me wish I, oh, ooh, my brother has an, alert, an allergy to shrimp and shellfish. And if you have an allergy to shrimp and shellfish, typically you also are allergic to iodine. So you want to be careful, okay? Overnight delivery. <laughs> there you go again. All from No Salt BP. You guys can replicate this at home. Grab my lolly. I would nail it. I'm doing that right now. I'm going. Hi, Annie Johnson. You, you just flashed out. Is there enough to make me a sandwich? <laughs> and there, oh. I'm showing this. Shots, 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 shots. I didn't skimp on any shrimp. Hey, Alan, you love shrimp. I do too. Please, everyone, hit your notif hit my notification bell. Like this video. Share on Facebook and Twitter. Support on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I promise you, I will follow you back. And having said that, what do you guys think about these Kroger test delivery? I, I really want to talk to you guys, but Kroger test delivery cars that will be bringing groceries. It's going to start in Arizona. Now, there was an issue with the self-driving car in Arizona not too long ago. Thank you so much, Maurice. Thank you, Poetic. Poetic, you and I got to get together because I want to talk to you live, okay? And we're going to talk about that thing that you discussed over there. Why women get at men instead of their, why women get at other women instead of their man. Grandma Lolly. And you are God's gift to the children, my dear. And when it comes to poetry and prowls and uplifting, upbeat, Two Chicks Crew is God's given to the spoken word. Yeah, it's a self-driving car. And my concern is that I don't want some machine self-driving something because what if it recognizes my address and wants to come through my door or my patio? Okay, now Poetic Kells, I'm gonna hold you to that. I'm gonna go to your about page and send you an email because honey, I'm ready. Because that is a long overdue discussion. We wanna uplift each other, support each other. I hope you all did that in the live stream tonight. You can catch me again tomorrow and I tell you I have something even better coming for you. Because Friday, Tuesday is my 
Taco Tuesdays. There's a budget plate. We do it under a a dollar or less. Wednesday, we do a budget plate. We're all about budget and being fiscally responsible. Hey, my Fifi, that's what we're doing. We don't want you to waste food, money, resources. Kids are in school. Uniforms have to be purchased. School supplies have to be purchased. And out here in L.A., believe it or not, they are actually, the teachers are paying money out of their salaries for these kids to have books and school supplies. It is crazy. When I went to school, that was unheard of. Books were free. I didn't pay for a book until I got into college. Is it like that anywhere else or is it just us? They do it in Fifi, really? What? See, I thought it was due to the size of the LA Unified School District. I had no idea this was going on all over the country. Two Chick Screw says, I don't think I like the idea of driving a car itself that scary. Really, how? Do we know it will follow the rules of the road? True. And how it does, and how does it know if a car pulls out in front of you? My point exactly, and I remember, what was it? I don't want to say it's a big car company, virtually brand new, but they had a self-driving car in Arizona, and it ended up in something very unfortunate happening and someone lost their lives and life. And to me, that's scary. No nonsense says it's bad enough that some people can't drive. (laughs) If I get hit at least, I wouldn't know who to blame it on. Yeah, because in a self-driving car, and you brought up a very valid point there. Who holds, who, where's a driving license if it's self-driving? Where's an insurance card? How do we know? JD97 says, how do we know if we get hacked by hackers? We don't know. We don't know. And that's the problem. There are too many variables and too many unknowns. Hi, DITL. Thank you so much for coming over. Hey, information man, we are supposed to do a live stream. Long overdue. But I'm going to show you, information man, because I didn't see you earlier. I made a shrimp po' boy. You can run this back and you will see it. My brother, uh, B2 Miles 84, just tell him, oh, I know Sharon Lofton. She was always in my live streams. You see this? I did the Rumalot sauce and the whole nine yards. Hit that thumbs up. Peace, my brother. You all, please, please, when you go and visit someone's content, leave a comment a descriptive comment, don't just watch one video. Information Man, Poetic Kills, Two Chick Screw, Alan, Grandma Lolly, they will all tell you that I am very descriptive. I view multiple, multiple um, content on their channels and Harry Bishop as well. Things are difficult for teachers in the UK so much extra unpaid work and classrooms are getting larger. See, now that's an issue because classrooms actually have become smaller here in California. 
Yep, I didn't want to say it, no nonsense, but that's it. That's what I did want to say, but she got it. Classrooms have become smaller. A lot of people are teaching their children at homeschooling their children because they don't trust the system. You know, they don't trust that their kids are going to do 13 years, including kindergarten, not excluding preschool. And that child will come out knowing something. The school by the workbooks here are not the teachers. Alan, what did you say? Did you know by 2019 it would be mandatory for push start? But, you know, to be honest, I'm going to address that. I do have a push start button in my car. It's very frightening for me because when my granddaughter is in the car or, you know, I have to make sure that that fob key is not in the car. That, my thought on that is that's scary. I would rather put a key in the ignition, turn it to the right versus something push start. And, and that's just me. But however, they're saying that the later the model of the car is, the more safety features it has. I don't know if that's true or not true. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But it's concerning when you have small children, grandchildren in your car. And my granddaughter is smart. Let me tell you, she can unlock my phones my iPad, she saw me put in the code one time and that's been over a year and a half ago. And every time I turn it on, she taps in those numbers and she unlocks it. So that is a concern. Ultima is a push button start. Oh, Ultima, the Nissans, the BMWs, um, Information man, uh, please support my sisters at Two Chicks Crew. They are my sisters. They have welcomed me since day one, them in Unity Tribe. They don't do that S for S stuff. We don't do that over here. We will view your live streams. We will review your content. Even if you have a live stream that's three hours long, we have to watch it later. We're, we're going to do it. That's what we do over here. Same way with Poetic Kells. She does the same thing. Grandma Lolly, she does the same thing. She is very responsible. Faith Squad, she is another responsible one. And my sisters are very supportive. They have been very supportive of me. Since they met me on this platform, I haven't been here that long, but I can tell you the solid people, DITL, Nick and me, they are also supportive. You guys want to go into their live streams as well because they don't say, oh, you can't do this or you can't do that. They don't put any restrictions. They just ask one thing, don't use that S word. And they are so cute down there in Florida. <laughs> so you guys gather them up. I'm going to stay on for another moment. I'm going to show this off while you guys get to know each other. Faith Squad, this was my po boy. Run this back. And I even placed the Romalade sauce on top of it. It's got fresh bread. I right, show this up to you guys again. It was this long. It was a baguette purchased at Lee's Market out here. It was like out to here when I started. So I cut it. I fried my shrimp. I put in tomato and lettuce. And I made a romalade sauce from scratch. 
So let you guys see this. Oh, you love them. You love what, Miss Poetic Kells? Hey, Annie Johnson. She's another sweetheart. Everyone, please support Annie Johnson and Harry Bishop. Yes, you can see the Eiffel Tower. All right, one for Harry. He got it right. It is a French baguette. Hit that thumbs up, everyone. I want to make sure you all get in contact, visit each other's channels, get to know each other. I thank you all so much for joining me in my kitchen today. And as I always say, you have many choices and channels to review your nutritional content. But here at No Salt BP, we do it without the salt. Please sign up for my newsletter at nosaltbp.com. Follow me and I will follow you on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You're so welcome, Information Man. And having said that, you guys have a wonderful evening and I will see you in the next one. Next one will be budget eating, okay? It'll be delicious. You guys, stay tuned for that one. Turn on your notification bells and I will do the same. I have done the same for all of you. Final shot. Poor boy with the roumelade sauce on a French baguette. You guys have a wonderful evening and I'm on my way to see you in your live streams. I hope everybody has taken care of and supported everyone else. And by what I mean by support is visit their content, not just this, no, visit their content, take the time to look at it, okay? Peace and blessings, Poetic Kills. Do you, um, do you, on your about page, do you have an email? Because I want us to get together. Okay? Because you've got something to bring. Hey, if you was real, oh, if you was a view here, I got to show it for my sister. This is my po' boy that I made from scratch, the roumelade sauce. Everyone saw it on camera. This is the roumelade sauce. Grandma Lolly, I'll be seeing you soon. You Faith Squad, of course you, I got you. I got you at Poetic Kills. Okay, I will see you all in the next one. Have a wonderful evening and I'll see you soon. Good night.